then all of a sudden, it got real loud and it really sounded like it was in my driveway. A medical helicopter makes an emergency landing on the way to a Jackson hospital. A disturbing trend continues. Another person held up at gunpoint at a business in the metro area. And a controversial 110-foot cross that was blocked in Brandon may have found a new home. Now in high definition, three on your side. This is the WLBT 6 p.m. report. We begin with breaking news tonight. Rain could possibly be a factor in this accident on Interstate 20 in Rankin County. These pictures came into our newsroom just about 30 minutes ago. And here you can see an SUV that rolled over on the on-ramp from Interstate 20 East going to Highway 49. No word if anyone was hurt. The accident caused traffic to slow down for a lot of folks. A Pearl police officer blocked the exit to allow crews to clear the scene. And right now, we're finally getting that much-needed rain right here in the metro area. Meteorologist Barbie Bassett joins us from the First Alert Weather Center. And Barbie, can we expect more of the wet stuff over the weekend? That's a big question. That's exactly right. We certainly will. And I know this may damper your plans, but at least we're seeing some much-needed rain. Take a look here at the radar. Even noticing a few lightning strikes here and there. We're not looking for anything severe, so that is the good news. However, where these rain showers are falling, you can see uh, falling quite hard. In fact, the National Weather Service is just issued an airport weather warning in effect until 615 for the Jackson International Airport because of uh, west to southwest crosswinds. Uh